So the first field is the backup label. You can name your label as weekly, monthly, daily, or you can name it whatever information you want to identify which backup schedule or which server is being backed up. For this demo, I'm just gonna use weekly and then enter your WHM username. The password the IP address of the server or the domain name. I'm going to use the domain name for this demo. Protocol recommended is HTTPS. The port usually 2087 by default, but if for some reason you change this port, you can change it here as well. The maximum backup files you want to keep or retain, three. So when the fourth one is generated, it will actually overwrite the first one and so on. And you can choose the schedule daily, which will run every day, weekly, every week, monthly, every month. So for this example, I'm going to run weekly and choose Friday. If you want to schedule, for example, a custom schedule like Monday, Thursday and Saturday, you can create this schedule, this whole schedule three times. So you will have three WHM server in your backup schedule. The first one you add for Monday, the second one you add another one for Thursday, and the last one you add another one for Saturdays. So that's how you do custom scheduling. So choose the time, for example, every three o'clock in the morning, and you can click here. If you wanna know what time is it in your local place compared to the server's time zone and wait time, this is how many minutes you would like our system to wait between each cPanel backup run. If you have huge accounts, you can make it larger, like every 15 minutes. If you have small accounts, you can have it lower. That's it, and click Add My WHM Account. This will verify all existing accounts. You need to verify it. And if your WHM don't allow too many multiple connections at once, you need to check this. Otherwise, leave it empty. Mine is not set that way, so I'm just going to leave it unchecked and hit schedule backups. So this will take about 30 seconds to a minute, sometimes more than a minute, depending on how much cPanel account you actually have in the WHM server. The more cPanel accounts you have, the longer you might need to wait because every cPanel account here it's being verified one at a time until all is verified and then the system will add everything into the schedule. So I'm just gonna pause this video for a second so you won't take too long to wait. So as you can see, everything has been added. It takes about one minute to complete this whole list and once you're done, you can go back to the backup manager and you will see that everything has been added here. And whenever there is a new cPanel account created in the future, it will be added automatically into the backup schedule. If you don't want to do that, you can stop it by clicking the stop auto update so it won't check for new cPanel accounts in the future. That's all.